This episode is another one where I'm just like, God, we needed someone behind the camera. This, this is why. It, I just held it down by, like, the ends of my hand and crotch shots. <laughs> I was, thought this was so cringy when we like posted it, but actually rewatching it, it's not as bad as I thought it was. I mean, it's not like his shorts are tight. No, and it's also not like super focused because he stayed a few feet away from me. Yeah. So it is actually most of his body. And that's why we needed the hints that we forgot to put in. So these next two episodes were filmed in my basement <laughs> much later. You can tell yeah. by my hair. That That is a ringing endorsement. Yeah. This is also like the one episode where my hair is straight. Sorry, I mean, my hair is straight in probably I, a few of the other episodes that we filmed later, but like for the majority of the show, I curled my hair. I'm wearing a lot less makeup in this than I was in the rest and most of the show. Which is kind of weird I'm considering sure I was at that nationals. Oh, the lighting is fair. That's the thing. We didn't talk about like the characters' families enough, but yeah. we had written what the family situation was, like how many siblings they have, what ages. There was a whole thing about like how we were both kind of felt like outsiders because her character was the only like one of the only openly queer people in town, and my character was one of the only Jewish people in town. How do you feel about this episode? Because, like, I feel like a lot of people have said, like, oh, it's really nice that we get to see her again. But then there's other people who are like, this is not, this gives us no clarity. Like, what does this mean? Why, why did she leave? Does this, is this actually, like, her justification? Like, I mean, like, I feel like she doesn't need to give justification. Like, I think she's just saying, like, I still care about you. And, like, I don't know if what I did was right. I think I kind of modeled it after, like, Diana's video after she left in Green Gables Fables. He's just so proud of himself. Every time he walks in, he's like, I am Superman. I made this squeaky. People are so nice in these comments. We should have looked at the comments while we were doing this, but oh well. He definitely didn't understand that no, joke. No, he did not. Speech people literally talk to walls. Why are you kissing him after that? She was being absurd and she thought it was cute. It wasn't cute, it was weird. This is honestly, I think, one of my personally best acted it. episodes because I look at him you with really so do. much love in my eyes. And I'm like, oh, bam. Sometimes I can't act. We gave it the same moral as, like, every web series. Talking to the internet is not the same as talking to your friends or talking to your sisters in the case of Lizzie Bennett. It's just an easy moral to learn. I know. Have them both wear flannels to make them look extra gay. I want to throw food into my lover's mouth. <laughs> For me, it's a very much a squish thing. Like, that's what I want to do with, mm -hmm. like, someone that I want to be friends with. This is solely because she is completely affected by packaging. Yeah, I only buy things based on their packaging. So, I think we might have scripted a little bit of this, but a lot of it was improvised. I think the answers to all the questions, at yeah. least, were improvised. The great job, tough round six joke. Like, that is purely a speech joke, and yeah. you could tell Cassie did not get it. I know. But you were, like, immediately cracked up. <laughs> we were not expecting it. It was a good joke, man. What can I say? 